I'm several hours removed from um, uh, watching uh, watching TV after after two weeks of not being to because of this <laughs> because of uh, because of all the online the online shit I do um, it's uh, it's quite refreshing it's really quite refreshing I actually uh, saw the movie Ford vs Ferrari. Uh, a few hours ago, and uh, the final scenes of Joker on HBO. I was uh, I was in for a real treat uh, a while ago. Damn. Now I know why. And now I know why Ford vs Ferrari got nominated for an Oscar for Best Picture. It's a fucking good movie. All right. It was a fucking good movie, and well, it made me realize something. Despite all, <clears throat> despite all the um, the online shit that we do every day, uh, actually every minute of the day, uh, we tend to forget what um, we tend to forget the the technology of thirty years ago, on how well, basically how people uh, lived their lives thirty years ago, like. Um, after a hard day's work, they just uh, eat their dinner, then sit on the TV. <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. right now. And even watch the programs they have no business watching. But uh, it's the old school form of relaxation. Now, social media is, the, is a form of relaxation. Now, I... I don't agree with that. Okay? I beg to disagree. I fucking beg to disagree. Social media can be toxic half the time. Right? You really need an outlet these days to um, just just to just to separate yourself from it. Mine uh, a few hours ago was TV, right? I never uh, got to never for the past I think two weeks wasn't able to um, check out the latest movies on cable so I got a chance I got the opportunity uh, a few hours ago just a few hours ago and of course I got the schedule to Joker on HBO so at 12 40 p.m. okay today I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch that in full, all right? I'm going to watch that in full. So I'm a bit of uh, doing some grinding right now, so that I will uh, I will be dis I will not be disturbed when I watch that movie, all right? So sometimes you got to live your life old school, just to get yourself reconnected with your purpose, your goals. And basically, well, uh, what makes you normal? What makes you normal? So, if you feel that social media is uh, is already getting to you, well, just live your life old school. Power tip for you, YouTube. I. Uh, I just got nostalgic uh, a few hours ago when I while I was doing my laundry. I uh, from YouTube right here. I saw a video of Modern English. All right, the quarantine version of, of probably one of the most um, probably one of the most recognizable new wave songs in history. I melt with you. All right, their uh, their quarantine version. All right, so. God, it brings it brings back memories. All right, it takes me back to 1987. It's my junior year in high school. It was the first time I actually heard this song, and and it's been and 
it was uh what you call this it was played at one of our one one uh, at a school party all right so yeah <laughs> it brings back a lot of memory memories all right it it uh it it shot me back to the 80s <laughs> but um but after so many years i i took a deep dive into the lyrics of the song all right robbie gray the front man wrote the wrote wrote wrote, wrote that song's lyrics all right it's one line says there the future is wide open all right uh, it's it's a rather it's a rather surreal kind of lyrics and uh, it's quite relatable uh, it's quite relatable right now right because well most of us see an uncertain future because of this uh, because of this pandemic but the song the song flat out tells us the future is wide open okay. why focus on only the present okay. why why instantly accept that the future is uncertain right the more positive uh, outlook would be this line by i met with you the future is wide open right that means there's a lot of opportunities out there for you to build a future on All right that's basically what uh what uh what that particular verse in that song tells tells all of us even during our even probably during um even probably during my time okay so that's all there that's all there is to it you need to readjust your perspective on the few about the future the future is wide open right it may be uncertain but the future is wide open if you need uh if you need to watch that video link in the description or uh or in the card all right so it's either two places you need to you need to watch that video so we, so we can so you can so you can be instantly shot back to the 80s and uh, the life lesson it has secretly uh, imparted to to every single one to every single one of that generation including me I only just realized it uh, a few hours ago again YouTube the future is wide open you know what um something has been bothering me this whole day and uh, I've only decided just now to uh, to share it to you guys on Twitter. There's the uh, there is a big difference between teaching and mentoring. Okay? I don't know why people why most people would um, would jumble the two words. Well, aside from spelling, there's a big difference. Okay, teaching is um what you call this somewhat rigid all right why because well when you say teaching you would um you would think of a fixed environment a controlled environment okay i'm talking about none other than the classroom event place or a seminar place okay that's teaching and there is a uh definite set of definite set of either subjects or subjects or topics to tackle by the students okay so that's why i called it rigid mentoring on the other hand well <laughs> that happens most of the time outside of the classroom or the or the event place where, a sem where seminars or workshops are held okay both mentor and mentee learn at the same time and it's a um, it's a learn as you go basis 
So, I would rather be a mentor than a teacher. Okay, because, well, I get to learn from my mentee. The mentee gets to learn something from me. So, figuratively, it's a two-way street. All right? Whereas in teaching, well, the teacher only, uh, the teacher is the only one, uh, is the only one authorized to, um, to, to educate. All right. The student has no right, okay, absolutely no right to educate the teacher. This is the, um, the usual culture, the uh, formal schooling has, uh, has taught us. So it has been that, it has been that culture when it, when it comes to, when you, when you say the word teaching. So personally, I'd rather be a mentor than a teacher. So Twitter, there's your big difference between teaching and mentoring. This morning, uh, I got to finish um, the YouTube movie, This is Paris. It's the, um, it's the documentary about Paris Hilton. I never thought um, a, a woman like Paris Hilton, well, an heiress like Paris Hilton went through, went through hell, all right? If you haven't seen that, um, if you haven't seen that, the documentary on YouTube, I strongly suggest you go to YouTube and search for it. Okay, this is Paris. So anyway, um, she went through a, she went through a lot. Okay, thing she went through things that uh, almost broke her psyche, broke her sanity, even um, her her overall personality. Right, I never thought Paris Hilton went through all of this. Okay. No, uh, no woman deserved that, okay? Much less Paris Hilton, right? But she used that same, she used those, uh, those, uh, those same adversities as uh, motivation for whatever success she has now. Her brand is in, is uh, valued, valued by at least, at least $700 million, her brand, okay? She was the she was the first okay multimillionaire influencer right did but her motivation war were, were the things she went through when she was young right I mean young young okay before 18 before 18 early 20s that young Paris Hilton has been judged by um, by her status as uh, as an heiress we all know okay. She's the great granddaughter. She is the uh, great granddaughter of um, of Conrad Hilton, okay, I, the pioneer hotel, the pioneer hotelier. I'm sure, I'm sure there's a there's a Hilton hotel in your country somewhere, right? Here in the Philippines, uh, the, the, here in the Philippines there is one, all right. Even Paris's own hotel, okay? it's it's just a um, it's just a 30 minute drive from here actually, but anyway, enough of that. She is dealing with um, she's dealing with those issues right now, and that's the reason why she uh, she put out this documentary to make us aware that there are such um, that that these kind that these kinds of shit do happen to can happen to anybody, even even rich girls like her. All right, so yeah, you know, I gotta admit when I was in. During, uh, I can say, all throughout my twenties, I actually judged Paris Hilton for. I actually resented Paris Hilton for being an heiress, being uh, a multi coming from a um, coming from a rich family. Oh, dami na pera niya kaya wala magawa yan kasi kaya ayam niya reality show yani. Sa dami na pera niya, she doesn't know what to do with that money kaya nag reality show siya. Right now, uh, um, I feel ashamed. Okay, after watching that, uh, watching that documentary, then looking back at it now, uh, I'm ashamed of myself. Okay, I'm ashamed of myself. 
but these days I don't I don't judge people by um by their stat by their status in life. I'm not I'm not that uh, I'm not that judgmental these days. All right. Because well, my mentor uh Pedro Aguilar always told me always tells me to well what is going on here? As I was saying, my mentor Pedro, Pedro Aguilar always tells me do not judge a person until you know the whole story. All right, I took that to heart. For 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 average for average people like you uh, on LinkedIn, don't judge somebody. Okay, don't judge anybody, not even rich people. Okay, especially rich people, do not judge them until you know at least half their story. All right. What you're going to what you're going to tell me that ah masarap masarap magjudge eh, kasi eh, kung ano nakikita ko yun ang ijudge ko eh bullshit you have to know the backstory first okay. there's nothing wrong in little, in doing your doing your own research doing your due diligence about a person we like it that way okay I personally like it that way and I'm very sure Paris Hilton likes it that way. So, this documentary was a, was a, is a really good lesson on, on how not to judge people. Okay? We all don't know. Okay? We were all clueless before this documentary came out that Paris Hilton went through that kind of hell. Right? That kind of hell um, during her teen years and during um, uh, even backstage when of course we all know that Paris Hilton is a DJ now okay. bottom line okay. bottom line do not judge people until you know at least half their story remember that LinkedIn remember that I just saw um, Pondered on something while I was while I, while I was restarting this phone because the LinkedIn app um, sort of sort of hung on me. When you're at a crossroads um, in your life, in your career, your brand or business, you just got you just gotta go back to basics, all right. To to keep yourself in the game, to well to prevent you from getting out of focus okay, primarily and well <laughs> to keep yourself from being demoralized right? because sometimes when you're like this at the crossroads of your uh, like I said career business brand you tend to get confused or yeah or sometimes demoralized all right take that crossroads as as an app like an app what do you do when when it causes when it causes your phone to to crash or to or to hang what do you do you restart it right you reboot your phone same goes with um, periods of periods of self-doubt and um, lack of motivation you just have to sometimes you just have to go back to basics how you started uh, in your career business or brand and stick with it for a while because well as of late you may be you may be you may be flashy with your uh, with your mindset you may be flashy with your content you have been uh, You've been setting too many, uh, either too many or too high expectations for yourself. And if you're if you're into that, you're, you will begin to doubt yourself once you uh, once you failed in achieving those goals or uh, not going after the minds, not going after that kind of, that perfect mindset. So. 
So LinkedIn, when you're at a crossroads, when in doubt, restart. Uh, just a quick video Instagram well um, as of late uh, the rains have come uh, long overdue for me because uh, I get this observation I get the observation that every time uh, every time the weather is hot um, I feel some uh, I feel somewhat uh, feel some chest discomfort but anyway enough of that there are so many ways to to view to view the impact of rain okay it would sometimes make you remember a painful experience it would also sometimes make you remember um, uh, a wonderful experience okay something that the rain had a, had a huge factor in all right i remember that time in you call this um, a sales call that I um, a sales appoint appointment that I booked for with a with a client and it didn't what you call this it didn't push through because of the rain all right but uh, what actually happened was um, actually after uh, during when it was raining I actually called my client that maybe we should um, I told him maybe we should reschedule because it is raining okay I couldn't go I couldn't get out of the house and he suddenly said well um, we're already we are planning on getting some I, I forgot what I forgot what product I what product I was um, offering him but they were they were actually getting they were already getting uh, a what's called this, a product or service from me at the time and so the moment so the moment we meet again they'll sign the contract Wow <laughs> okay that's that's where that rarely happens okay that's a rarity in selling usually well, if it rains, wala nang ganing ano mo, wala nang ganing prospect mo na makipagkita sa whoever. Okay? That, that's the usual thing that happens. But this one, it's really different. So, I think I was, um, I think I was thinking positive that day. I don't know. I don't know what came over me why I was thinking positive that day because it was raining. Right? And, right now, um, I don't know. Every time it rains, mas positive ang mas positive ang mindset ko. All right, that's, that, I only realized it now. Okay, I only realized it now. Uh, well, Instagram. It's only a matter of perspective on how you see the presence of rain. Okay, if you allow. Uh, your brain to tell you that ah it's gonna rain oh my god bad things will happen i'm gonna be unlucky today guess what it's going to happen okay whatever you whatever you hope for whatever you probably pray for that will happen it will happen during the rain okay Rain has this certain mysticism uh, on on humans, okay, on, on on all living organisms, especially humans. So it's just a matter of just a matter of perspective or mindset, okay, whichever comes first, on how on how you want the rain to impact you. Okay, so wow, okay, just. Um, Figure it out for yourself. Okay, just figure the mysticism of rain for yourself. Okay, remember that Instagram. Remember that. Um, it's the least I could do right now to uh, to, sal to salvage whatever 
whatever um, uh, whatever positivity I can for this day and um, whatever I can to uh, Whatever I can to uh, to keep myself positive despite what happened, and um, I was supposed to have my first all-day stream today, tapos talaga Friday, and not not nandun yun episode reviews, advocacy Friday, reaction streams, and a little bit of deck workshop, nandun nila yun eh. But due to the um, due to the the system maintenance right now that it's going on for five days, and of course, well, the ever okay, the ever inconsistent broadband uh, we have right now in the Philippines, I have failed multiple times today. Twitch would only um, record the first, the first minute or two, in all the failures. Hindi lalagpas, hindi nga lalagpas ang dalawang minuto eh. And all, and all the times I've tried to stream. Okay. I am so fucking disappointed with the telcos right now. Okay. I am so fucking disappointed. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, Advocacy Friday is cancelled. Okay, I've already, I've already cancelled. It's too late for me now to... Too late now for me to... <laughs> Fuck you. Now Twitch is telling me that, that... Well, I am live right now on Twitch. <laughs> so, in alert, in alert now. And um, it's like I'll just have to record all my reviews. Okay, record all my reviews. No more, no, no more reactions. Uh, I need to. I really need to do this. Uh, I really need to record the reviews. And it'll be the first time. Uh, uh, in, in a long while, na uh, hindi ako magla live episode review, okay, for for my Otaku channel, and it'll also be the first time that Advocacy Friday will not be will not be streaming tonight, okay. Ang hirap pa naman tawagan ng BLDT ngayon, yung one seven one, ang hirap tawagan. I was uh, isang tawag lang dapat kasi yung pag-upgrade ng uh, basic phone plan, yung basic telephony plan mo eh. I-upgrade yun, i-upgrade ko sa ano to fiber. Kasi para na, para na maka, ano na kami. Medyo nagagastos na rin kami sa, ano eh, sa sa data. Ito nga eh. In order for me to, in order for the, broadcast, the broadband connection to be consistent, I, I was hoping so nagdagdag pa ako niload ng ko pa ng niload ng ko pa ng ano to at least 150 pesos but it wasn't enough talagang it only made Twitch capture the first minute and 26 seconds of each of the failures each of the field uh, the field streams today I just I I'm demoralized right now. I'm so demoralized right now.
um, it pains me uh, to announce this because of the recent um, goings on as to how <clears throat> as to how the internet in the Philippines is um, is um, being handled right now because of the um, nationwide system maintenance and um, um, all youtubers are um, all youtubers and streamers are suffering because of this right it's not just me but due to um, due to low viewership all right during uh, every time I stream on that show I'm, I'm officially announcing right now through the vertical diaries that advocacy Friday well I'm canceling advocacy Friday All right so the last um, the last episode for season two will be episode five until such time that uh, <clears throat> until such time that my internet's uh, stable enough to uh, to handle long streams right and uh, and as long as uh, well until there's such a time that um, that people want to talk about network marketing again on my channel on on this channel and uh, advocacy Friday is uh, will be well I'm putting advocacy Friday on the shelf so consider consider it cancelled also so again uh, I'm sorry money in life movie but I'm sorry money and life movement but I have to do this um, well compared to the vertical diaries uh, compared to the vertical diaries it's not doing it's not uh, getting any views so there's no point in there's no point actually right now in streaming uh, in streaming live for it every Friday every second and last Friday um, I just had to do this I just had to do this so I'm announcing again advocacy Friday is now cancelled sorry money life movement I'm truly sorry